What's happening? I'm Gary New Dean Ledbetter. This is the uh, Ticket to Heaven redneck version. <laughs> I want to tell you a story about a couple of boys I grew up with. Bubba Joe and Billy Bob. And everybody in the South knows Bubba Joe and Billy Bob. Now, Bubba Joe and Billy Bob lived at home with Mama and them. And uh, Mama's, Bubba Joe's mama said, Now, look, boy, if you live at my house, eat my groceries, go to church on Sunday. So if mom ain't happy, ain't nobody happy, right? So Bubba Joe's on the back row of that church every Sunday holding on with white knuckles on that back row. Every time they give him an invitation, saying just as I am or amazing grace, he'd run out that door. Now Billy Bob didn't have to go to church. He's sitting outside in a four-wheel drive pick him up truck waiting for Bubba Joe to get out of church so they can go do their corral. <clears throat> well, one Sunday, my cousin, <clears throat> Marcel Ledbetter, was down and uh, running a revival at uh, Bubba Joe's uh, mama's church. And old uh, Marcel, he's the one who had that chainsaw. And, and Marcel began to explain the ticket to heaven. He said, look, he said, uh, now, the, you know, everybody's ticket was paid for by Jesus at Calvary 2,000 years ago. When he spread his arms and died and shed his blood, he died for everybody. He was buried, he rose again the third day. He said, now if you want to get your ticket to heaven, you got to do something. you got to repent of your sins, confess your sins, ask Jesus to come into your heart. Believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He was born of the Virgin Mary, that he preached the gospel, that he was crucified, that he died, he was buried and rose again the third day. you got to believe that. Bubba Joe's been on that back road for 25 years. He was holding on this thing, an amazing grace house, sweet to say. Old Bob Joe, he's holding on. And the Holy Ghost conviction was on that redneck's heart, and it was pounding like a bass drum. He turned around out that door like he had for 25 years, and the Holy Spirit just jerked him around. He ran to that altar, and he fell on his face before Holy God, and he prayed this prayer. He said, Dear God, I don't want to go to heaven. I want to go to heaven. I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I repent of my sins, confess my sins. That's Jesus in my heart. And I'm free right now, and I got my ticket to heaven in Jesus' name. Bubba Joe got up, and he was, he was totally free, delivered and set free from the bondages of his sin. He said, Mama, I can't go home right after church. You got to go see my best friend, Billy Bob. Isn't that the way it is? You want to share good things with your best friend? Caught a big bass, uh, killed a big buck, got me a new four-wheel drive. Even got me a girlfriend. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> he goes over and says, Hey, Billy Bob, I got my ticket to heaven, man. I want you to get yours. Billy Bob said, Man... Ain't nothing but a bunch of hypocrites out there at them churches or at your mama's church. He said, I'm good enough. God will let me in. And, and Bubba Joe said, wait a minute. How good you got to be? He said, who you going to measure against? Mama? Grandma? Granddad? said, you measure against Jesus. He's the way, the truth, and the life. He's the only way you can get to heaven. Billy Bob said, leave me alone. God will let me in. Billy Bob never got his ticket. That's fishing down to the dam. And down, down here at the, the river, they turn the turbines off, and it's real calm up near the dam. And, and, and when it's real calm like that, sometimes you can get on a, a, a bed of, of catfish, and, and them two redneck boys begin to catch them catfish as fast as you can pull them in the boat. And they got so busy catching catfish, they forgot that, uh, and didn't hear the bell go off as we turn turning the turbines on. And when they turned the turbines on, they didn't have the life jackets on, and the water was so forceful, it turned the boat over, and them two redneck boys drowned, just like that. Because how quick can somebody die? That's right. Quick. Now the Bible says it's appointed that a man wants to die and after this is judgment. Every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And this is just Bible stuff. Bible 101. So here's the illustration. I want you to picture the judgment of God. And he's high and lifted up on his throne. Bubba Joe's in the line of heaven. He's got a ticket. Billy Bob's in the line of hell. And there's a few pot full of people over there. Ain't nobody got a ticket. Billy Bob sees Bubba Joe over there. It's just an illustration. And he says, hey Bubba Joe, I don't have a ticket. He said, how about giving me some of yours? Bubba Joe said, well, I don't know if it'll help you or not, but wouldn't you help your buddy if you could? Bubba Joe said, I don't know if it'll help you or not, but I'm going to give you some of my tickets. So he tears off some of that ticket and gives it to Billy Bob. And he gets out of line of hell, runs over here and grabs that ticket, gets in line with Billy Bob. Bubba Joe, and he's waiting to see God. And Billy Bob says, hey, Bubba Joe, you got more ticket. Man, how about giving me just a little bit more of your ticket so I can be sure? Bubba Joe said, well, I don't know if it'll help you or not. He said, if you was my best friend and we drown catching them catfish and we go into the marriage supper of the lamb, lamb and I hope God's got fried catfish on the menu. Hallelujah. So he gives uh, uh, Billy Bob three-fourths of his ticket. 
and they're waiting to see God, and I believe God knows everybody's name, even yours and mine, even before we were born. As they got closer to the throne, God says, Billy Bob, let me see your ticket. Billy Bob said, I got a ticket my best friend Bubba Joe gave me some of his ticket. He said, give it to St. Peter. So he gives his ticket to St. Peter. And as St. Peter begins to unravel Billy Bob's ticket, Billy Bob is waiting with great anticipation to hear God say the same words that me and you want to hear him say one day. Well done, thy good and faithful servant. Come on in to heaven and receive eternal life. Enter into the joys of the Lord. And there's Billy Bob, he's he's waiting and and uh, as God as 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 Saint Peter unravels his ticket uh Billy Bob's ticket spells hope. Now Billy Bob's in big trouble. And this what this is the one thing that drives my passion every day to share my faith in Christ Jesus with one person. That God looks at Billy Bob and says, Billy Bob, you're in the wrong line. Depart from me, I never knew you. And you've got to see Billy Bob have to turn away from God and go to hell for all eternity. For John 3.18 says, For he that believes not is condemned already. And a person that is condemned is on death row. And if they die without Christ Jesus, they'll, they'll, they'll lift their eyes in a devil's hell. And Bob Joe's back there and God said, Bob Joe, let me see your ticket. Bob Joe said, Well, I gave my three-fourths of my ticket, God, to Billy Bob, he's going to hell. He said, give your ticket to St. Peter. So he gives his ticket to St. Peter. And God begins to uh, unravel, or St. Peter begins to unravel, Brother Joe's ticket and it's a cross. <laughs> Hallelujah to the Lamb. Jesus said, come on in. Brother Joe, you gave your heart and life to Jesus that Sunday that Marcel Ledbetter was down there preaching the revival in your mama's church. He said, Billy Bob, can't use your ticket. See, you can't use somebody else's uh, experience with God. You can't use somebody else's uh, salvation. You've got to have your own ticket. Now, here's the question for you. It's A or B. Are you in line to heaven or line to hell? If you're in line to hell, you don't have to be there, and you don't want to be there. And I pray that you'll pray and ask Jesus into your heart, just like Bubba Joe did. And if you do, then you can go to heaven. And look here, the same letters that spell hell, when you move them around, the same letters that spell hell, Spell L-I-F-E life. Hallelujah. Isn't that powerful? Now I want to pray with you before this video is over. And if you want to go to heaven and get your ticket, and you want to go to heaven with Bubba Joe and me, then you pray this prayer. You say, Dear God, I don't want to go to hell. I want eternal life. I know I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and I repent of my sins and ask Jesus to come into my heart and save my soul. I believe the record of, of the Son of God, and He's my Messiah, and today I accept Him into my heart. And I have got my ticket to heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for listening.